Hey everyone, we're going to do a channeling today. We've got David Bowie and Leonard Nimoy, and this is um, not what I was expecting, but L Lemmy Kilmeister from, um, of course, the Ace of Spades from, you know, Motorhead is his band. So, um, in the past days, I've had kind of the flu, I've been a little bit behind on things, and um, um, it was David Bowie's birthday and I had people ask about David Bowie and things like that. So um, his energy's been around. And so um, we're gonna start a little bit. They're telling me to explain a little bit about channeling. And there's a couple of different ways to channel. And um, so people get that mistaken or messed up or um, have questions about it. So there's like trans channeling, which would be the person or being or energy will come inside of you and you you are moved out and the being is speaking out of your mouth um i don't like that that's not for me so um what i do is channeling for so many many many, many years i think i was born this way um where i see them they stand in front of me and there's a filter and um they tell me what to say so um, David Bowie says, and we, it's time to begin. Um, and he's been really funny and enjoyable. His energy has been around a lot lately. And I appreciate that. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and give it a go. He says we're consciousness. So David Bowie is going to speak first. Leonard Nimoy is here and Lemmy Kilmeister is here from Motorhead. Um, what a lineup. In a billion years, I would have never thought that. Um, but they have a couple of things they want to say. I'm not really sure what it is. But um, so first, they're going to talk about consciousness. Um, they want you to know that they are in a, a unified unity consciousness, um, energetic. John Lennon is here. Um, who I have seen a few times in my life. Um, and has offered assistance as well. They want to say they're in a consciousness. Um, so they are in the higher realms. They come together. They're, um, they worked on uh, uh, similar things in their lifetimes, um, each one of these people. Um, and so they're here to talk about like star seeds. Remember John Lennon singing Imagine All the People? Um, imagine. Um, and so part of the point was there's like no boundaries, limitless, um, there's no heaven, just this higher consciousness, this higher frequency is what he was talking about. So he's here to share and he, um, David Bowie is saying, welcome star seeds and loved ones and, um, friends. And, and he's saying, we just want to make this be fun and enjoyable and, and discuss about how we can talk to people different people that um, are really uh, gifted with uh, communication, being mediumship, um, higher multi-dimensional communication connectors. And he says, we, um, we have the biggest message today that we are here to bring. So he's talking about um, David Bowie, Leonard Nimoy, Lemmy, Kilmeister and John Lennon want to bring us um, the main message is to um, allow the energies to come align and where we remember our true selves um, our endless selves our truth and how precious we are how irreplaceable we are and um, and know that there are some signs and and um, we've gone through a big uh, energy portal, like a um, gateway, in these last weeks and months, and it's going to continue. It's not just like it's just for some of us or um, finished or completed or over or done or anything. Um, he says so. In our lifetimes, each one of us um, had a similar role um, because they were all um, they had a, a voice, a famous voice, in some way, and they wanted. To come here today to tell us how to be like teach us how to be ourselves um, or share a little bit about each one of them 
and how they learned how to be themselves, like live their truth, be themselves. Um, all of us, uh, David Bowie speaking for them, all, all of us, and I'm talking for me, he says, um, have battled our own shadows or darkness and so we didn't, you know, recreated ourselves. We didn't know um, in life sometimes where we belonged. And he says we were all had just a shining light um, to share. And he says he's telling somebody, he's saying, yes, he's like the Goblin King. Like you remember the movie Labyrinth? He says, yes, I can, I can look like that at any time. And he says, just remember there are many um, worlds, many realities, many realms where, you know, the fairies and the elves, the elementals reside. He says, I do know them. I do have a connection um, in that realm for sure. And so, yes, he will always be the goblin king from the labyrinth. And he says, in my ultimate knowing inside of me um, was about compassion and his connection, his star seed connection, being a star, star man, the star man. And he says, we all came here to, um, in our lifetimes, to share um, an aspect that helps us change, open up and expand, helps humanity open up and expand. And he says, I did that through music and my each piece of life, his phases of life. Um, and he says, I learned the hard way. Sometimes we all battle darkness. And so um, John Lennon is speaking next. And he's saying, in my lifetime, I was, I was really targeted. And um, he had tumultuous pieces where he was angry and resentful of some of the things. He says, it's not easy to be famous. It's not easy to be the speaker or well-known. And he says, I would channel. He says, his way of channeling was his music. He says, um, musicians often channel energies, the creativity. And he says, um, from the heavenly collectives and the places where we are from, which are high frequency. And he says, the earth plane was tough for us sometimes. And so he was angry and there, there are darker beings or people or pieces of ourselves that we came here to learn or move through. And he says, this is a big time in consciousness or um, time, actually, big time in time, um, where all people are kind of being tested or kind of run through the, the, the furnace a little bit to burn away some of our egos, our darkness, our um, glitches, our wounds. And he says, um, that was not always easy. So there's sometimes if you're a shiny, shining bright light, and the others are nodding. It's it's there's a little bit more pressure. The darkness focuses on you a little bit. So he would like to say to all the people that have been through hardships, hard things, um, mean people, bad people. Um, he says this is the this is the just the indication of the Earth's imbalance of the light and the dark. And he says it's just beginning. It's now it's just beginning. Like there's an open. Um, it's like the, just now as an open gateway to the star seeds, the light workers, human beings um, to recognize quickly their own darkness or their own wounds and to move forward very quickly um, into this. It's like a new energy. And he says, um, so if you've been um, afflicted, affected um, by pain, suffering, darkness, bad things, he says, just know you'll know the answer more quickly. And he says, we came here to bring support. We came here to bring um, kind of comfort and safety for all of you um, who are really working on being your own unique selves and shining brightly. He says, keep going, man. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> oh, You know, he, he came for me a couple of times in, in times where I was really having trauma. Um, and he says there is a darker factor faction going on, like some, you know, like, um, the X files or, um, conspiracy theory things. There are some things like that unwinding and, you know, that has always been and will always be, he says, but we're, you know, imagine, imagine the life where that can't touch us anymore. The, the really dark stuff can't touch us anymore. And he says, we're just at the threshold of that 
and it will come into our belief system so the generations behind us will clean it all up and we won't have things like war which is rising up in the mass consciousness and the and humanity right now so we're just fighting against ourselves and um the dark factions it's almost like star wars or something of course i've got spock here so it's really more like star trek how's that um so leonard nimoy would like to step in and also say um I've got a little helper here, my little Ramina. Oops. Little Ramina is helping, getting a hug. Um, so Leonard Demoy would like to step in and say he's he's um, would like to bring the message of balance to all of us um, in this new gateway uh, opening that we're having. Um, the um, the plans the it's set and we are coming into a place where you know the, the space the final frontier they didn't know how to do things or they didn't know how to communicate with people sometimes in the you know the tv show and they ran into trouble and, and had to fight the shadow fight the darkness um and we could see in the in the the bad guys we could see like they're awful how could they be like that you know in the the movies and the the tv and he's saying this is what consciousness is kind of rising up above. Um, and so as we each personally, each one of us recognize who we want to be, what we want to be in life, um, um, our true selves, he's saying we shed some of the of our darker pieces or our angers or um, John Lennon is saying the things that would just really frustrate us. Um, it will no longer be able to touch us. So let's teach our children and grandchildren. And he says, I wish I could teach my family line or, or be there for my family line, which I wasn't sometimes. And he says, um, all of these men are saying, I wish they could be there for um, all of us of humanity as the children of God, like children, um, to go, you've got this, don't cry, it's okay. Or if you need to cry, go ahead and cry, it's okay. Um, and to be, for all of us to be reminded, not only of our worthiness, but um, just, in immense belonging, in spark, um, connection, in the multi-dimensions in the universe, in um, source and God, which we are. So um, I find that really beautiful. Lemmy would like to say, he says, hold, hold yourself with strength. Um, his persona, who he is, um, I saw him in concert. He was really funny. Um, and that was a really cool show. Um, and he was saying, hold yourself, like remember inside of yourself. He said, I wasn't the pretty one. I wasn't the fancy one. I wasn't, you know, I had issues. He, he said, I drank every day for 900 years. And he said, um, and I would do it again. He said that um, part of my addictions or my darkness is, he said, I just died. I embraced it. And he said, I came here to live in sort of a, like a deep bass tone energy. Um, and he said he was his creation, like, like a rock and roll, um, rock and roll. It's like soothed his soul or awakened his soul. And he said, um, also, did you know that Lemmy wrote songs for different people, different bands? He was very, just like big, but he never needed to be like the biggest one, like, like a big big one and he says I just knew inside that I was that I was important he said and I had love even though it was I lived a hard um existence sometimes um and he commanded respect because he um recognized it in himself his expression he commanded respect because he recognized it in his, himself and he says I also channeled um the deep base of the universe is what he's saying and he's saying so don't hide those pieces of who you are be who you are and he says I, I, I just um I'm very grateful I got to live the rock and roll life um and embody it embrace it and he says it wasn't always easy um and he said, I, somewhere inside, even if he felt like he didn't belong, he knew he belonged. So he always had a direct connection in his own way. Um, 
and he was sort of like a warrior of the darkness. Um, so a uh, warrior of the light against the darkness to balance out. So he showed in a really like a crunchy rock, rock star way how to balance things out um, and live fully and freely. And he's like, just, um, just respect yourself. Um, love yourself. Beam from yourself um, the truth of who you are. And he says, um, no fear, man, no fear. John Lennon is nodding. Huh. John Lennon is saying, we are bringing today an activation or some coded like activations, um, brand new because we're coming into this higher energy frequency. And he says, this is, um, for each one of you, just in your own personal spaces and on personal lifetime, I mean, life um, circumstances, um, please know that you're having um, downloads of, of your truth. And um, all of you are going to live with darkness pieces. Like none of us are going to be perfect in someone else's eyes. We all have addictions. We all have wounds. We all have pieces. He says we're rising up above those things and we're finding our true people. And he says, um, so to him, even though he was uh, married before and loves his children, loves his wife that he had the first one, um, and the people, he could be an ass sometimes, he said. And and so choosing, later choosing Yoko Ono and these things, he says it was, it was my divine calling. So I didn't mean to harm people, but we all who are alive have hurt people. And he says, um, just embrace, forgive yourselves and embrace the truth of who you are. And know that some in these these days to come, um, we are if we if we don't know our whole soul tribe or if we don't know very many people where we belong or things like that, we're um, these activations are bringing us. It's almost like a breath of just knowing where we belong, who we are. And he says it's it's coming from source. It's not coming from these guys. It's coming from source. And they're saying they're divine, like divine um, connectors to us. Um, like ascended masters. He says, it's not that we're just all great and perfect and we're all ascended and you won't be um, when it's your time. Um, but they're all working on their pieces and, the, and their parts of their universe that they're from. And, and so Leonard Nimoy wants to say, I, I am a, um, in his afterlife, um, a connector with um, star beings. And he says, I didn't think about that all the time. I mean, I lived, Star Trek was his main role. Um, and he was in some Westerns and some other things um, and worked really hard. I mean, hard, uh, not just, you know, fancy actor jobs. He worked hard. And um, he says, I, I just hear I'm, I'm, I'm almost like an ambassador. He says, not almost an ambassador. I am an ambassador, a connector of different star races and celestial beings. So he's saying, remember to say it, that it's not just all alieny. Like everybody's green with big giant eyes or gray he says um i am an ambassador a connector and um living out some of the things concepts that uh gene roddenberry scripted he says gene roddenberry we knew this at the time was um it connected also like advanced so many of the people that bring forth music um movie scripts things like that it depends on if they're in the light or the dark um, they bring forth um, pieces of different realities and dimensions um, and unfold it before our eyes on the TV screen or the movie screen or in the musical frequencies. Um, Lemmy's like, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. He would like me to be quicker and shorter. Um, he's saying, I just want you to know that you're doing all right, kid, doing all right. And he's like, oh, stance, hold your stance. Um, and so they're talking to all of you and they are a collective. They are in a, a, a bandwidth, a um, couple of different frequencies, a bandwidth um, collective. Um, so um, they are their true star selves, their true heavenly selves, their true connected God selves. And so um, Leonard Nimoy is saying in his position, he's uh, connects star races and, and celestial beings together and has a very, um, important role on bringing um, earth uh, humans in human bodies, um, not in spirit, not in, in energy form right now, incarnate in bodies, 
he says we're all in spirit we're all we all exist in this higher frequency but those in human bodies um he says he brings uh, an awakening um his presence his energy frequency um just like when he was on star trek when many millions and millions of us watched the tv show or the movies with him in it he's saying that i bring that also to the consciousness of humanity to um people to help them expand and move past the old paradigms and the old archetypes he says there's a shifting going on shifting in this new gateway time period where um um the archetypes are shifting like sometimes the people that we think are the strong ones and the perfect ones they can also be you know have the dark the shadow side their shadow side is mean and tyrannical um, you know, like the king can be wonderful and nice and feed them all cake and then um, just be like, and take all their money. I mean, like he could, you know, there's a dynamic of all of us. There's light and the dark side. And he says, so we're helping humanity. One of his jobs in spirit is to help humanity balance light and the dark. And Lemmy's like, yeah, me too. But it's different. He is, isn't as ambassador -y. he's he's like he's like yeah I'm, I'm up with that but it's sort of um in tones frequencies um he's is he's helping it's almost like um what he's showing me is when you tune a guitar um sometimes when the the strings are off or any uh, stringed instrument and it just and you know it goes wrong until it's in perfect pitch and tone he's doing that with the energies of, of earth. He says, I don't want to talk to everybody. He says, I don't talk all the time. Um, he's funny. I mean, funny. I would, I would not know because I don't know very much about him. Um, but he said he drank a whole lot. And he says, so all of us who have um, our pieces of darkness, he says he lived his fully. <laughs> it was like right here. Like, I'm just me. And so um, he had no shame for who he was, even though he had, you know, he had hard parts. He said he had love in his life and he wants to help people connect because sometimes he was separate from love, you know, being famous and being a rock star. You have to be, you know, your certain persona all, all, all the time. And he says, I embodied that. I was that. But it also kept me from, you know, having the picket fence and the, you know, 60 kids and things like that. And he goes, it was just um, the truth of what I was supposed to be there for. And he says, so that's in the tones and frequencies I came here to help with um, for humanity, help the frequency tuning. And he's also in charge of bringing some lovely codes for us to help us um, kind of forgive ourselves and, and recognize our own shadows. How's that? John Lennon is saying yes as well for him. Um, he also is here to help bring um, higher frequencies, really high frequencies. Um, for people to help them also really uncover their eyes and see the truth about what's going on. And he says in this new time period, and there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of anger. And he's saying it again, like war. Um, I think, um, I don't know everything about John Lennon either, but wasn't there like a famous thing where they were holding a peace, love, not war? Or like the war's over, it's only peace and love. So that movement that he brought in, um, certainly timely um and the way he died with um being assassinated um just assassinated just you know at his door um he says humanity he came here to help humanity be safe but realize there are predatory warmongering energies still running around it's just like um, pardon me the jeffrey epsteins and the I don't, I don't really know everything that's going on in the news, so I'm sorry. I don't really know, like, who to, you know, point out right now that's, like, sort of icky or very vile or harmed a lot of people. But, like, the Jeffrey Epsteins, Epsteins and stuff like that, they help us learn. They came here to play a role. and um, But he's helping us balance out by breathing in the, the, the higher energy and um, peace, love, not war. Um, vibe because most of us are just like um, certainly we honor and respect our militaries all over the world um, but we have to, to really come to a, a realization and recognition that 
we don't want war. We want to heal and become a, you know, like a unified people um, where we don't hurt each other. We don't have to be like each other or like each other's culture, um, but there's plenty of resources. There are plenty of resources, he's saying, and plenty of um, good for all. It's John Lennon. He says in the next days, many of you are gonna hear some a little Beatles or a little something that touches you and makes you smile inside um, just because he can. They talk to us through music sometimes. They talk to us through different signs. So his collective that he's, his frequency that he's in charge of is um, touching the world with peaceful thoughts and feelings and expanding the mind, helping us become unblindfolded to some of the really gross, vile, um, tyrannies um, that we don't want. We don't know how to say no, though. He's saying, for instance, we go down to, you know, we don't really care if women are abused or we don't really care if children are hungry over here. We don't really care if, um, it's not overly fully true, but we're very apathetic. Like, oh yeah, that happens. Well, that's okay. Um, so as a collective, like we think like if we can go outside of this world, we can go we could look at ourselves and go, why would they, why would they allow horrifying abuse and war all the time, everywhere? Um, and um, we just don't know that we're becoming free. We're going to be unblindfolded to some of the things that we will no longer put up with and bring in these new peaceful ways. Um, um, compassion, um, balance harmonizing things unity he's like unity consciousness unity and when i always mention unity consciousness they're saying remember it's sort of like just the universal laws lifting us up lifting us up in frequencies let me kill is saying remember respect is it's not like um the word respect has been in me humanity been used in this way like I'm bigger than you. I'm the Godfather, <laughs> which I've seen. I, it, that's, it just makes me laugh. I'm sorry. Very funny. Um, you have to respect me, and so it makes people in, come into their warring nature. But the real meaning of the word respect is, um, I honor who you are, and I'm not going to steal your lunch or your belongings, and I'm not going to be mean to your children. And I'm not going to um, expect you to respect me because I'm taller than you are or shorter than you are or from a different country. I expect you to respect me because we are all respectful and respectable. There's a balance coming in. So that's something that Lemmy is bringing in. His energy is bringing in. Um, Leonard Nimoy is saying, um, David Bowie is laughing and I don't know why. He's making me laugh. You know I love him. He's just my favorite. We'll come back to Leonard Nimoy. David Bowie is saying the uniqueness of each one of us, whether it's made up of, of, of different colored eyes or um, different types of shadows. Um, he says in his lifetime, he lived like 64 lifetimes. Like he's, he outlived the cats like the curious cats because the nine lives because he said I had different pieces and he says inside when I was at home people knew me um hopefully he says as a kind person and uh, very smart um and he wasn't really afraid of learning and growing and to just step into a character and role but he was a very um very wise very smart person um that lived big I was saying this earlier, he's showing, he's using the, um, I did this in another video, like, um, and it's sort of like reminding us to try the different kinds of ice cream. You don't have to try, eat the same thing every day. Um, try new things and um, that will help us expand and grow and, and remember who we are, remember what we really like, not what society tells us, not what our families told us, not what the people down the street expect us to be, but, um, help us expand and grow. And he says all to all the musicians, go ahead and be yourselves. To all the um, people everywhere, go ahead and be yourselves. And remember that um, even if you are not seen as the 
supermodel, beautiful person, somebody recognizes your super awesome, beautiful self as beautiful. And he says, I came here to bring the frequency of uniqueness. He says, we're having activations going on while we're talking um, for everybody. Like you're bringing source activations to all of us. Um, just almost like in bringing a divine spark inside of us to remember to love. And um, this, this Ramona, this Ramona um, stretching to remember our uniqueness and remember our respect, to respect ourselves, not in a way like I'm respect me because I'm stronger than you, but in a, I am, I am that I am. I am respect. I am that I am. I am uniqueness. Um, and I am perfect in my uniqueness. Um, Leonard Nimoy is stepping in and he is his more, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> He's saying this is more logical, you know, cause fuck, they're making me, I'm sorry, they're making me laugh. Log logic is Spock's gig, right? And think about it. Um, in some ways, Spock, the character Spock, um, truly had the, the true divine wisdom. And he really was the one that was like the engineering, um, he understood the science and the engineering of what was going on. It could be people, it could be, you know, um, different races, it could be all kinds of problems. He was the one that brought it all into balance and engineered it and, and really did solve the bulk of the problems um, on all the shows. Um, and understood he has logic and because he was half human, he had the, um, the divine spark within him, had the emotion pieces. So he had the right brain and the left brain in perfect harmony, unity, he's saying. So he's bringing organization and balance, um, masculine, feminine, um, balances, um, in his energy that he brings as well as connection and communication that opens our eyes to. Um, just greater, spans us greater further than we would imagine. Thank you, Leonard Nimoy Spock. You're welcome, Melissa. Is what he's saying. He says, watch, there's more unfolding in the, in the, um, in the energies around. So, um, in the next week, he'll help us recognize where we need balance. And um, he says, um, also the new earth, the new newness of it all. I'll help you open your eyes to that. John Lennon is saying also, I'm unblindfolding you to some of the darkest pieces as well as some of the lightest pieces. His energy is just like so light. And he says, it's not that I wasn't really, like I didn't have moments. I wasn't a jerk. I wasn't mean sometimes. I didn't, you know have bad days or moodiness or have problems in his life, he says, but, but remember to um, just really forgive yourselves and don't be so hard on yourselves and, and know that your energies and your energies, you can ask source, you can ask your angels, you can ask us to help you push away some of the darkness that's scary or bothersome or, or um, you didn't realize was close to you or in your wounds. Um, he's saying they're literally beyond karma that we set up for ourselves in our last lifetimes. We're coming back to just recalibrating. Like I'm seeing a spine, someone's a human being's spine, recalibrating. You know how we have achy backs and sometimes the chiropractor can help us oh, feel so much better in so many ways. I mean, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all the ways because we're re um aligned he says that's what his big job is so um remember that they all just want to help support us and and to remind us to be ourselves and that in the face of darkness this is really this is the time where we're just it's real this is where it begins like there's a beginning it's the beginning of the end of um, the way we used to look at things, uh, treat things, um, treat circumstances, because we're coming into a higher awareness of how to heal, grow, come together, come together right now. He says, so we're just all going to help. And this was just a, just a little message of each one of us showing 
some of our purposes, um, their spiritual purposes and their heavenly jobs. And they're saying, we well, just know that heaven exists much greater, more vast. And each one of you are a universe, um, the spark, a divine spark of God. So that's John Lennon. Lemmy Kilmeister is also saying, um, <coughs> um, he'll help support you on these these deeply, like passions of deeply to balance out what can be harmful darkness or can be beautiful, perfect pitched um, base energy. He says, so I'm helping with those things. Um, respect, respect yourselves, respect each other. And, and remember, it doesn't mean that you're stronger than somebody. It means that you respect who, um, who each of us are. Um, give it give it your all he's like give it your all he's saying you're beautiful meaning all of, all of us not just talking to me recognize your beauty within um david bowie is also saying recognize each you know your lights and beauty within we just wanted to come together because it's a fun crew like motley crew of um, cool personalities and people that wanted to come together today to, to be part of this channeling and, and share with us some of their important purposes and missions, which some of us here in our living bodies, um, earthly, earthly bodies also share. So, um, some of the things that some of the energies that we came to share or spread, um, and there's some reason they're saying travel. They did that last time. They were saying, go, go, go. Um, oh, so Lemmy's like, um, by the way, don't listen to what those people said. Like if someone's put you down or something like that. I have I have been called more names and um, not threatened as much as I used to be. I was really bad targeted before. And I got like death emails all the time. People driving up and just bad stuff, which is not happening. Although I did find an axe in front of my window recently just just he's like just don't believe what those people say so when peace when the world is breaking us down or our relationships are really breaking us down and apart um don't believe the bad stuff just know that you are um um perfect as you're supposed to be and you deserve to be respected and loved and, and to uh, be allowed to be your unique self and to um continue to grow and and um, be connected to things, your passions and your truth and connected to the right people, um, places and spaces and, and things. And so just expect the good. And John Lennon just says, well, just, it's almost like, bring, just bring some stardust to you today. Um, each, each of us, and whatever's best for us to activate our um, new earth thinking and visions. Um, not like we'll just have visions all day, but our new earth vision of um, the world where there's peace and harmony. And so maybe we should listen to the, uh, you know, we should just pull up Imagine today um, or in the next days and just be reminded, like imagine a world where there's peace. All the people can get along. If they don't like the same things, they do.